Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shaw Craft One and my old barn door and I just came to show you um, a floral um, three ring binder journal that I made for my Etsy store. So this will be going into my Etsy store. Um, what I'll probably do is get the listing ready, get the pictures taken um, and the video done and try and activate all of them at the same time. So once you see this video, uh, it should be up and available in the Etsy store. So we're just going to get right into it. So on the front, um, there's a lot going on on the front. Uh, I made a little pocket um, with a picture from my, what's the name of that? Wildflowers of America book. Um, it's similar to an Edith Holden book, but it's not an Edith Holden book. Um, and then I just made this little handmade flower with a flower button to go on the front of it. It is a floral journal, so there's going to be lots of flowers, guys. Um, so, uh, then I put this pretty, pretty um, uh, purple doily. I showed this in one of my haul videos. And then I put this real pretty pink doily. And it's covered in fabric and then lace. It's got a ribbon um, closure. And then I put the doily on top of that. So lots and lots of layers. And then it has the lace edging. And then I just put a little safety pin here with a little charm. This is actually um, an old charm from an earring. And then I've got a little stick pin in there. And I was going to glue it in, but I kind of left it loose so that you can pick and choose wherever um, on the cover you want to put it. Or you can put it inside the journal, however you want to do it. So anyways, um, this is a double pocket. So in the, t in the bottom pocket, I just made you a little shaker card. And in this pocket, you can actually, um, you can slide a picture in or anything like that. So that one is in the front pocket. And then in the second pocket, I just have um, some embossed. It's a real deep, rich purple color. So, lots of bright colors in this book. This book is very springy. So, and you'll see that as we go in, that I am ready for spring, for sure. Okay, so we're just going to go on in. Now, this is a chunky one, as you can see. So, when you get it, you might want to take some stuff out, but I filled it with lots and lots of stuff. Inside cover is covered in fabric as well. And then, um, it has a fabric pocket here, and I just put lots and lots of scraps of the papers that I used in the book. So we'll just get started. And this is the front page and it is a pocket. So you pull this out and I got this idea from Gail Gostinelli. So I will link her below. Um, she makes some super cute journals. You guys have to go check her out if you haven't already. I'm sure you probably have if you've watched my channel at all because I talk about her probably on every video that I that I make so but anyway that's a little pocket this is from that wildflowers of America book um, also and then this uh, is a fold out and it is from my big um, bird book um, I'm trying to see the name of it Audubon Wildlife is the name of it. I showed it on a haul video too, but it's super pretty. So it folds out and inside you see the, um, these animals. Then this came from my, um, the, uh, it's another ring binder book, but it's all about gardening and flowers. And so I love these because they actually flip out. So that makes a little flip out for you. So you got lots of room to journal, Put pictures, um, mixed media, uh, whatever you want to do on that little flip out. And then this pocket is made out of fabric and I topped it with a little lace. Love, love, love this fabric. And I like it with this color orange. Um, so, and then I just put you a little um, journaling card in there and I made it just on plain cardstock paper because there's just a lot going on on this page. So I was trying to tone it down a little. And at the top, I just sewed on a piece of fabric and a paper doily, and then put you one of my little wax seals on there. This is, oh gosh, I've already put the cover up. Um, I, I showed this book on one of my hauls. Um, it's, uh, it's called Mother of Mine by Mary Engelbright. 
and just cute illustrations in it but this was the front cover of it so um, I used the whole book in order in this book so you'll be able to read the whole book and I just thought that that would be cool you know if you wanted to use this as a Mother's Day gift you could or you don't have to but anyway I um, added that whole book and then I put some maps because y'all know my obsession with maps love maps then these are, um, I made some envelopes from that children's book that I showed in the hall. Let me see if I can, don't know what I did with it. It's in here somewhere. But, oh wait. Hello, it's right in front of my face. Um, this one. So, I had told y'all I was going to make envelopes, and I did. So, inside just got um, a couple, little, or a little scrap or journaling card. Um, out of some of the paper that I used in the book and I just used a little flower to tuck it down so those turned out super cute they're very vintage looking I don't know if you can tell on the video but they're the pages are pretty yellow this is a book from or a page from Edith an Edith Holden book this is actually um, from the the actual book itself this was a Nestle Toll House cookbook and it was brown and the inside flaps were peach color and I was gonna cover this up and cover up the the tabs and I thought no nope, you know what I'm gonna leave those and let whoever gets this do their own thing with these so I put you several of these in here some of them I did put some stuff on but most of them I tried to leave plain so that you can actually use them as you know tab cards so this is um, I think it's photo play paper. Just got some, I just stitched some edging um, with paper on the side. This is just a tag that I made from one of my Edith Holden book pages. And I did some decoupaging with a napkin on there. And then just sewed around the edges and inked it up pretty good. So that turned out super cute. This is from one of my many floral books that um, I have gotten lately, and I just absolutely love this page. I just think it's beautiful. The colors are bright and cheerful and lovely, so made it a little fold out because, I, I mean, I couldn't cut this. Who can cut that? So, if you want to cut it, you go right ahead. Nobody's going to judge you. I ain't judging. I just couldn't do it, so I made it a fold out. So, this is from a children's book. Um, about the four seasons I showed in one of my most recent hauls and so I just added um, a plain sheet of paper here with um, a fabric it's not a tab because it doesn't stick out but just an embellishment so and that's the other side of it sorry about the glare guys so that folds out here is some of my Helen Steiner Rice pages and they were a little bit long but as you can see the poem kept going on this one, so I didn't want to cut them, so I just folded them in. Here is another Edith Holden page. Is that gorgeous or what? Love it. Um, this does have lots of birds in this book, too, so it's kind of a floral nature theme type deal. Excuse me while I get a drink of coffee. Okay, so... That's the Edith Holden page. Isn't he pretty? I love him. He came out of that um, children's book that I just showed you. And that's the other side. But I didn't want to cut the page. So you can cut that up if you want to and use it. Or however you want to do it. This is some uh, another page from that Mary Engelbright book. Um, about her mother. And even though it had writing in it. I just thought that added to the character. I love that. Because you know. You, you can see who had who had the book so I thought that was pretty cool this is one of the tab pages that came from the original book um, that I did put like a little envelope pocket on here with scalloped edges um, this is made out of an envelope and I was trying to see I learned how to do this from Gina Johnson I will link her channel below and I'll try to find the video that I learned how to do this with um, I was trying to see you basically, you glue the flap shut, and you start out with just a scalloped edge. So that's how this started, and then you fold it up, and you put 
the pretty decorative paper. So anyways, it's a multi-pocket pocket. So in this pocket, I just put a little um, booklet of little note pages. If I can flip through them, they're all the same. But I just made a little booklet out of it and tied it up with some tool. If I can get that to focus. And then in this pocket, I just put a little tag from some of the paper that I used in here. Then here you have a little pocket and it's just got a little tag in there. And then here you also have a larger size pocket and I put one of my little shaker tags in it. And then you just have a little journaling card there with a tab on it. So that goes into this pocket. So this is a pretty good interactive little page. I thought it was a fun page. And then down here, um, I I was throwing this little strip away. This is off of a strip of paper, and I don't know if you can see that very good or not. Let's see if I can hold it up. Yeah, it was off the strip of paper, you know, where it names what paper pad it is or whatever, and I just thought that was too cute to throw away, so I inked it up and glued it on the page. <laughs> this is... I love, 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 love these roses. You know, I've talked about this paper before. But this is one of those Tracy Fox slash Gil Augustinelli envelopes um, that I made the other day on that video. So, and I just put a little lace um, across the back pocket. And then I just folded it. Sorry about that. Okay, so that just goes there. And then I added some solid color papers in because, again, this book is real busy. And so I just thought it needed something to break it up. So this is a fabric pocket here. And I just put a little tag there and then a little journaling card there. Added the plain paper. A little fun fur on top of that. This is from um, the book house, one of the book house books that I have. And it's a poem by William Blake. So... I love these pages. I love the colors in these book pages, so I like to add some of those in my in my journals. And then this is from that bird. What are they called? Field guides. Yeah. So this is about the hummingbirds, and I just sewed it on to an extra sheet of paper because this came so close to the edge that I didn't want to punch holes in it and mess up the picture so I just added a little sheet of paper to add it on there. This is another um, solid color piece of paper that I just put some vintage wallpaper. I sewed it on and then I just put you a little journaling card in there. Here is some more of that vintage wallpaper and then just some coffee dyed paper inside that little pocket for some extra journaling room. Another Edith Holden page. I'm going to start trying to flip through um, quicker because we're getting close to our time frame. This came from one of those Ideals books. Both of these did. And I know it's a little late for Easter. I was working on this before Easter. And it's just taken me a while since I um, am working six days a week. But that's okay. You can take it out if you don't want it in there. Um... You can, you know, these are little poems that are about spring, so it doesn't have to be specifically about Easter. So here's some more of that Mother of Mine book from Mary Engelbright. And I put several pages here. Love the colors in this. This is super cute. This came from a children's book um, where they had activities and things to do. But if you get this book, or if you have time to pause and read this, this is super cute. Um, it says, the warmer it is outside, the faster crickets chirp. You can figure out the temperature by counting cricket chirps and doing a little math. And it tells how to do that. So, super cute pages. And these tell about butterflies and moths. So, I just have, you know, one fold out of that. This is another of those pages from that... Um, Four Seasons Children's Book. Here's another tab page, and I just put a little pocket there with a journaling card. And then another one of those envelopes. 
that I worked on the other day. And this one, I glued the flap down, added a little lace, and there's a journaling card in there. Another Edith Holden page. Decorator paper. And I've just attached a little, um, this is just attached with a metal paper clip. Um, this is one of those um, tags that I made from um, Edith Holden page and decoupaged napkin on. And then I just put a little safety pin and added a little charm there. This is from the book house books. And I love this uh, because it talks about spring and it talks about blowing on on my garden and cute, cute stuff. And then this is more pages from the Mary Engelbright book. Isn't that pretty? This is from one of my floral books. And look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? So, so pretty. So, I couldn't cut that one either. More Mary Engelbright. Oops, sorry. More maps. This is just... Um, <laughs> This was just a cute little page from a book, a children's book that I had. And again, I was working on it during Easter, so I added it. You can take it out. Solid color page, just to kind of break up all the busy. Here is another fabric pocket. I love, love, love this fabric. And I just put you a plain color tag um, to kind of tone down the busy with a little lace across the top. Here's another one of those fold-out pages from that gardening book. And then here's some more pages from the Four Seasons Children's Book. Um, so this folds out. And then it folds out this way. And then this one folds out as well. And then it folds out this way. This is from my Wildflower Flowers of America book. And it kind of was too long, but um, it had a part of the picture with it. So if you want to cut it, cut it or make a pocket out of it, whichever way you want to do it, but I just kind of left it open for you to have the option to do what you want to with it. More from the Mary Engelbright book. Here is another one of the tab pages, and I just sewed some, some ruffled ribbon down the side. One of my little floral cards. I have several, quite a few of those actually. This is some um, Anna Griffin paper. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so that's some Anna Griffin paper, and then this is just the back side of that with a fabric pocket with some lace across the edge. And then I just put a little tag and a journaling card in there out of the paper that I used through the book. More Mary Engelbright pages. I think there's, yeah, there's two there. I love these images. She does such wonderful images. And then this is from a very old little book about a frog that was terrorizing the neighborhood. You can see he's got the baby's bottle here. <laughs> so I just thought that book was super cute. I only had a few pages left, so I put them in here. And this is from my one of my rose books. So it just folds out. That's um, open for you to do whatever you want. You can actually even glue it down and make it a pocket if you want to. And I put a solid color page, and it actually flips open. It's just solid white on the inside for you to do whatever you want to. And then I put some vintage wallpaper pocket and a journaling card there. Um, this is an envelope that I made out of a book page. And I just put you some of the, um, the papers that I used in the book and a couple of journaling cards. Isn't that beautiful? Love that. From one of my rose books. This is from the book house book. Love the colors in this. Here's another field guide page with hummingbirds and kingfishers. Another solid page. Fabric pocket and this is a double fabric pocket so I put a little tag in the front pocket with some tool on there. Focus. <laughs> and, and then a tag in the back. Some more maps, some more from the um, children's book, and then this was a calendar page, so I just folded it in half and made a pocket out of it, and then if you pull this out, you just have a journaling card here, and that gorgeous, gorgeous paper there, 
love, love, love. This is Bow Bunny. And I will probably order some more of this because I only got one page of it and fell in love with it. Didn't realize I would like it as much as I do, but more of the Mary Inglebright book. Decorator paper. Oops. And then this is some of my Helen Steiner Rice poems. That's from one of my bulb books. Another one of my flower cards, and I put just solid paper on the back with um, a journaling card for May, and then just a, a plain card, a vintage plain card. And then this one, I love this fabric, so I put a little pocket there, and and then you have shaker card with a couple of little journaling cards in there and I love this spring brings new growth so weed out the bad and make room for something beautiful so I love that and then another matte page love this paper love 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 this paper and that's another couple of pages from that frog book and he's super cute <laughs> and then more Mary Inglebright page love this image and that's the last of the Mary Inglebrook pages this is some encouraging works from Joyce Meyer and lastly we have map pages and then in the back I also put another pocket with some more of the papers that I used throughout the book and I left um, the information on the side of the papers so that you can figure out what papers were used in the book and then, of course, my tag and my card. So that is my latest floral three ring binder journal. Um, I love how it turned out. This cover was a booger for me, you guys. It took me forever to figure out this cover. Um, I actually had to do it twice and take it apart. I took it apart the first time and redid it. So anyways, this will be listed in my Etsy shop. So if you're interested, go on over and take a peek. It will, I'll put a link below. Um, I haven't counted the pages. I guess I should give you some measurements. Let's see. It's going to be about ten and a half by eight. And it's probably got a one and a three quarter inch spine. So I'll have all the information listed in the in the Etsy listing so that you can um, have that information. So anyway, you guys go on over and check it out. Leave me some comments, subscribe, send your friends, you know the drill. Big love to all you guys. I really appreciate you watching and you guys have a great day.